Sean O'Malley wants to be big as Conor McGregor. <laughs> In this video, I will explain to you guys how he will never be big as Connor, big as Isa Desania, big as Jos Masvidal. Before I continue with this video, remember to click the subscribe button and like this video. Sian O'Malley has a big fight coming up against Chito Vera in a stacked UFC 299 card. That card is stacked from the bottom to the top. UFC wants to push. Sian O'Malley to become the next big star, but it is not going to happen. Here is a clip of Sian O'Malley saying that he will be big as Conor McGregor. Take a listen. End of the year and be the biggest star in sports, not just combat sports. I think I go out there and put two beautiful performances together. I will be as big as Conor. Uh, the UFC has grown 40-50% since Conor has, has really was in his prime that COVID really boosted the UFC, so I have a lot more eyeballs, a lot more opportunity to become, you know, more of a star. And, uh, you know, people, when I say stuff like that, people are always like, oh, you want to be Conor. But he's the biggest star in combat sports. Of course, I would, you know, want to be as big as him. Like, How you can be as a big as Conor McGregor when you cannot even sell higher pay-per-views than Charles Oliveira, Kamaru Usman, Jos Masvidal, Isa Desania, and many, many, many others. Achmed Sterling was disappointed by Sian O'Malley's pay-per-view sales, and he's regretting fighting Sian O'Malley. If you guys don't remember, Achmed Sterling took a very short notice fight against Sian O'Malley. He was doomed to fail, and he failed, and now he's regretted everything because the pay-per-view was not worth it. Um, something with my lady, and um, I got the pay-per-view numbers, and me and her, we're going through it. And I'm just like, these are the numbers that this guy was trying to say, like, he's this big pay-per-view star. I'm just like, oh, my God. And then when I saw the numbers, I literally said to her, if I had any idea this is what the numbers would have been, if I could have predicted that this is what it would have been, my ass would have waited and taken my vacation then and then gear up to fight now. Because this is ultimately when they said I would be able to fight in, like, January, February, March. Because if I didn't fight in August, I wouldn't have any other spots. So it is what it is. Um, I rolled the dice. I trusted that the bag was going to be this, wow, blow me away kind of thing, bigger than all the other ones. It wasn't. Um, so with that being said, it is what it is. I'm still happy I made some extra money. I had a really good year. I can't complain about that. Life's good. I can take care of myself. I can take care of my family. Alchemy Sterling versus Sian O'Malley sold way less than Alchemy Sterling's previous championship fights. So I'm gonna explain to you guys why Sian O'Malley will never be a star. If you look at stars like Issa Desania, Conor McGregor, John Jones, Kamar Usman and many many others, they all had great personalities. You might dislike Issa Desania, but Issa Desania is a unique individual he's being himself he's not trying to be somebody else that's what makes him a special person that's what makes him a star you know what i'm saying like is the son is a cool fighter like he's a cool person i like the way he thinks about fighting uh, i like watching his interviews he's great khabib same thing he has his own personality the problem with sian omali is that he has no personality do you guys know who sian omali even is do you want to be like Sian O'Malley? Of course not. Nobody wants to be like Sian O'Malley. He's a great fighter, but he has zero personality. He's literally saying in his podcast that he wants his friends to fuck his wife. Then he says that, oh, I talked to Andrew Tate and now I'm not doing that anymore. Like, dude, you don't have your own mind. You don't have your own ideas. You don't believe what you already believe. Like, everybody can change your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not really a person. Like, you're just an empty soul. And he knows that. And that's why he's, like, talking to these streamers. Like, I don't understand why he's talking to these streamers. Why? Why is he talking to these kids? I don't watch these streamers. The UFC consumers don't watch these cringe-ass, weird-ass streamers. Why is he doing interviews with them? I have a good question. Er have you ever been horny mid-fight? Not mid-fight. Seconds after, though. And then you fuck, don't you? After. 
Oh, so, sorry, your daughter's right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you got, I, got, I got a headset. I got a headset. So would you ever have a threesome with, like, or like a foursome, like two girls and, and me and you? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I love a good four back. I've never had one with another I've guy. never had one. I really want to experience it, bro. I mean, you know, homo. And we just swap bitches and like, oh, oh my God, man. I have a good question. You don't see Conor McGregor doing this shit. You don't see Isla Desanya doing this. You, you don't see anybody doing this. This is so, like, cringe. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck is going on with you? Are you nuts? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Have you lost your fucking mind? What's going on? Now everybody is saying that they want all Jermaine Sterling back. I've been saying that... The, Ultimate Sterling should have won that fucking fight. Like, Ultimate Sterling was a better seller. Ultimate Sterling was a better personality. Like him or not, every time the Ultimate Sterling was fighting, it was exciting. The press conference was exciting. The build up was exciting. With CM O'Malley, it's like, nobody cares. Of course, we watch his fights. His fights are amazing. Like, I'm not disregarding him as a fucking fighter. He's phenomenal. But everything else outside of the cage he's horrible i remember when cn omali got 69 tattoo from 69 like who does this i'm saying like it should be opposite cn omali should have been the cool guy he's the fighter he should be giving tattoo to 69 this guy is a follower not a leader and there's more of weird clips of cn omali watch this video Bro, what are you doing? Not to just open up my eyes on screen. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's your UFC champion. And here's another one. Vital, you ready for this? I'm ready, bro. Three, two, oh my God. one. Oh! My ass, oh! <gasps> this is not what makes you a superstar. This is a horrible look for Sian O'Malley, and it's not gonna be easy for him to stay as a champion. Chito Vera is a very hard fight for him. And then you have Umar Nurmagomedov, Henry Sohudo, Merab, like... Man, <laughs> it's not gonna be easy. But let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. Do you agree with me that these are the reasons why Sian O'Malley will never be a crossover superstar? Click the subscribe button if you guys haven't liked this video. If you like, stay safe, stay healthy. Goodbye.